Today I will be showing you how to use Google Sheets and Google Translate to automatically localize your Unity project. Before we start, I have the Unity project we worked on in the previous episodes open. You'll need to have worked through those episodes and installed the Unity localization before continuing as those of you use contain a basic setup and we won't be going through at this time. We're going to start off by opening up Google Cloud Platform and we're going to go to Google API. From here you'll have this blank screen in which we will press create project. Alright, you know we have this screen open. We're going to create an external O authorization. Press create. And this you'll just go through on your own. I'll just quickly type in some info placeholders here. Alright, in test users, we're going to add ourselves. Alright, we're going to go to credentials. We're going to create a credential and it's going to be an OAuthorize Station client ID. And we're going to create a desktop app. Press create. And we're going to download it as a JSON. It's going to go in my downloads folder. We're going to go to enabled APIs. Enable API and services. Go to Google Sheets. And then we're going to enable that. Alright, and then we're going to back up to our Unity project. From there, we're going to go to localizations. I'm going to right click, create localization and we're going to use the Google Sheets service. We're going to press the O key and we're going to load our credentials from our newly downloads. We're going to authorize. Now this you might have to do every once in a while as you'll have to reauthorize to push and pull and sometimes it doesn't automatically get it. So remember where you access that. Remember you just have to press authorize. You could also change some of the sheet properties. I'm going to leave those as default, but you'll see what I'm referencing later. Now we're going to go back and select our string table, and we're going to press extensions. We're going to press a Google Sheet extension. From there, I'm just going to press that dot there, and it will pull up the assets menu. I'm just going to press that, and I'm going to press create new spreadsheet. Awesome, we're almost done already. I'll just type this in as Google Sheet. Press Add Sheet. And we're going to create a key column. And then we're going to create all of our localization columns. We're going to expand all of those, and then we're going to choose which localizations respond to each. Alright, from there, and we are going to press push. And here I got a result saying that a push was to Google Sheets, and we're going to go back over here and we're going to press open. And here we are. Here's the dark gray border and all that stuff in which I spoke earlier, and it already integrated in a table in which I had constructed. From here, we're going to create an exu a new example. We'll just put high. And then from here, we of course wanted to auto translate everything. That's the name of this title of the video. So we're going to press equals Google Translate. And from here, we're going to get the reference text, which would be the key. We're going to press comma. We're going to do the source language, which is EN in this example. And you can find those examples are up here. So we're going to use this abbreviated code, and that's going to be the same for all of these. And then the translated language, this one is also going to be EN. That's going to change per each one. I'm going to copy that right there. 
we're just going to paste it in each of these blocks. Don't worry, there's a faster way. I just want this to be A3 on each one of them, referencing the key and not the language next to it, because uh, of course that's going to change everyone. That's going to be annoying. Reference language is going to stay the same since we're referencing the key, but the translated language is going to change. So this one's going to be ES. That's ES right there. This is going to be DE. J A T H C. All right. Uh, most of which is the same. So let's actually switch this to something else. How about? How are you? I press enter, and it automatically translates all of this. And if I wanted a third key. Fine. I can just select all of these, press this little circle here, like if you were using Excel, and drag down. And boom, it automatically translated all of this. So we're just going to minimize that. We're going to go back to here and we're going to press pull. And it's going to say that we got a result. And from there, it's just the same as the previous ones. We're going to go to the text down here and we're going to select a new string reference and let's just define our last one. I'm going to save and let's test it out. And now boom, we have our new language imported. Automatically translated and everything. Thank you for watching.